Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. So nice little setup we got on this one. You know, we're not getting that length overly long. You're still a little more lightweight. So, you know, some half tons, depending on your tow rating, always double check your tow rating, may be able to pull this trailer because we're only weighing in at 3,330 pounds empty. So always double check your tow rating though and make sure you're able to. We'll go ahead and get started right up front. We've got our manual crank jack, the two and five sixteenths inch ball hitch, our safety chains, the battery breakaway cable. And then right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack so you can see how the lights operate on this one. So in order to operate lights, you do have to be plugged into the external battery source a vehicle, or if we get a battery installed in this tack room for you, you could also run lights off that. Exterior color is gonna be a charcoal metallic. So right now it's pretty gloomy out, so it looks pretty dark, but you know, as sunnier days, it gets a little more gray looking. So it does tend to change color and it's actually pretty neat how it does, you know, the exterior light makes the color look different. So right there on our front tack room, we've got our 42 inch wide door. So that's our bigger width on the door. And that allows us to have the saddle rack swung out and then still be able to get in and out of this trailer with ease. And that way you're not having to, you know, shimmy by anything. You're still able to walk in and out with that saddle rack being swung out. Right away in here, we've got our spare tire and that's full size over here in the corner. And then right above that spare tire, you actually have a bar right here. So this bar, you can hang your show clothes from it, hang your polo wraps, you know, whatever you need to do, you do have that access right there. Over here on the partition wall, we've got our two rows of bridle hooks, and then we've got the carpet down below. So that carpet is gonna help, you know, prevent some of that swishing and swaying and rubbing that the bridles will do in transit. So in turn, keep your bridles in better condition and then also keep your trailer in better condition. And then right in here, as you turn to the left, you'll actually see a 25 gallon water tank so having that water tank on board, that's a big one for me, being able to bring water from home, especially if you have a finicky horse and you're going out of town somewhere, you wanna make sure they're drinking water on the road. So being able to bring your own, make sure they're still drinking, staying hydrated and you know, getting, getting them how they need to be. And then also if you're going up to the mountains, you're going for a day trail ride and you wanna make sure you have water with you, you have that access to do so having this water tank in here. So then coming back out of this tack room, I do want to highlight this saddle rack real quick. So right now we've got three tiers because this is a three horse, but we can add an additional tier on here. These are adjustable. You can move them up and down. You just back these out just a little bit and you can be able to slide them up and down. So, you know, like this bottom one, that's plenty of space for a cutting saddle or a saddle with a bigger horn. If you wanted to put an additional one on there, we could slide them up a little bit. There's all the options there. And then you've got your two blanket poles up above and those are adjustable and removable as well. So that swings back in and that's on a gas shock. So that's going to be that stationary position that it sits in while in transit. And then over here on the tack door, you do have a window, you can get some airflow in there or get some, you know, ventilation going through if you've got some sweaty blankets in there. And then down below, we've got our brush box. So that brush box, I personally keep my stuff that I use often in there. So my brushes, my hoof pick, fly spray, liniment, all that stuff. And then I don't have it rolling around on the floor of the trailer. It's easy to access for me, be able to grab and go. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got an LED light above where the horses tie. So if you're trying to saddle or unsaddle in the dark, Lights in the dark, who would have known that that's an awesome thing to have, but it, it helps out big time being able to see and your horse not being as spooked and you know, you're able to get your job done quicker. We've got bus windows on the hip side for each stall. So these open up part way and that way you can manage that airflow that you want going through the trailer, open them as you're driving, close them as you're driving, whatever you need to do in order to have your horses, you know, comfortable back there. Three ties down below. And then we've got two, or the 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. 
And uh, those are our black spoke wheels. And that black spoke with this charcoal metallic, it's a really sleek look. Um, going down the road, no matter what kind of pickup you're pulling it behind or color vehicle you're pulling it behind, it's just gonna stick out and stand out and look really nice. So Cimarron trailers, they are an all aluminum trailer. You're gonna have one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then they all come standard with their half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. That roof has an R3 thermal value on it. So it's gonna be a little bit more heat regulating in the back there. It's gonna help reflect some of that sun in the hot summer days. Um, just keep it cooler in the back for the horses. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So that's a big one for us down here on the front range. You never know when hail is gonna be coming in. So having that capability and possibility of uh, you know, keeping some of that hail off the roof just helps out big time. So we've got our 6040 door opening on the rear here. Currently we do not have a ramp, but if that's something you and or your horses are needing or wanting, our guys here in the shop do a fantastic job. They've been working on these trailers for quite some time, so we'd be able to get one installed for you. On that 60 door, we do have a window, so you can get that maximum airflow going through the trailer. So coming up here into the stall area, we've got our one partial divider, and then we've got our one full stud stall. So having the partial and the stud stall gives you a bit flexibility um, to do some different things when it comes to how you want your load style to be. You know, if you're only hauling two horses, you can use that front stall as a storage stall. Nothing's gonna be rolling back underneath these horses' legs. It's gonna be up there and stay up there. And the other nice part, when we get over to that head side of the trailer, that does have an escape door on it too. So if you're going on your longer road trips, you need to access something in that front stall. It's, if you are using it for storage, you can easily access it from the outside instead of having to get off, horses off and you know have the capability or possibility of them getting loose and then something happens. You don't want that to happen. So having that access from the outside just helps out big time. And then both these dividers do have the pads on them already. So that's gonna be nice. You're, that's not gonna have to be added after the fact. And having the pads on here you know, for you folks with your lighter colored horses, so your grays, your palominos, your paints, the lighter coated ones, when they get to rubbing against this aluminum, you get to your show or you get to where you're wanting to go, you usually have that stain on their hip just from rubbing against the aluminum. So having the pads gonna prevent some of that. And then it's also gonna be a bit more comfort for your horse when they're leaning against it on the sides. Each stall is gonna be equipped with these D-rings. So there's three of them. And that gives you the capability of putting a triangle feed bag in these. So if you wanted the feed bag, you could do so because it's already, you know, set up. And the other nice thing I like about the Cimarron's, they do two ties in each stall. So when I load my horses, I have a Cimarron, I'll load them, I hay bag on one side and then I tie on the other. And it just makes life a whole lot easier instead of having to reach all the way across the horse's head and then potential for them to get scared or spooked and back out. I've got that tie right there that I can easily hook onto. Up above on the roof, above each of these stalls, you do have a roof vent. So those are gonna push forward and push back. So you get that airflow coming in if you push them forward. You get that airflow coming back out if you're pushing them backward and just keep that overall air going over the horse's heads and backs. And then something I did wanna note, we actually add extra length to these trailers so that this last divider doesn't have to be a telescoping divider. It's a full solid divider. It's able to stay in the trailer without having to telescope. And that's, that's a big one for me when you've got young horses and you're trying to load them. You wanna make sure that they're not gonna catch a hip on anything because we all know how horses can be and how easily they can get hurt. Just having that helps out big time. And then right here, the Cimarron divider latches. I really like them. I've got some young horses that are still getting seasoned with loading and being in a trailer and being comfortable. So being able to get them in there, you know, push them over at the hip. And then all I do is with my hip, push that in. That's a big one, the safety feature of it, being able to just do that real quickly instead of having to mess around with a pin or anything. It just, uh, it just makes life a whole lot easier when you're working with scared young horses. So that's fun. And then right here on the rear, we do have a strap that comes across. So the strap is gonna prevent that last horse from backing out 
as soon as you open these doors. I know some horses like to shoot backwards, and if you have them tied, that could cause for issues. So having that strap's gonna hit them on the butt and keep them into the trailer. And then I am gonna close this door real quick and show you where we've got the lights at on this trailer. So all of our access lights for the interior stall area and then the exterior of the trailer are gonna be right here. So you're able to get those flipped on pretty quickly. Um, you've got one for each side in the rear and then inside. And then up in the tack room, you do have a, a separate light switch in there. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got our drop downs on each stall, including the escape door stall. So big drop downs on these last two. The one on the escape door, when I get that closed up, you'll see it's a little bit smaller just because of the framing of the door but you're still getting that maximum airflow for these horses and they're able to you know, stay cool while you're going down the road. And then with these, you do have the capability and possibility of pulling down this jail bar. So that's a big one for me. If you're going on long road trips, you wanna offer horses water, you wanna fill up their feed bag, you wanna check their legs, you're able to drop this down and you know, hop up on this side rail. I'm not gonna do so right now because that's a little icy, so I don't want to fall, um, but yeah, you can hop up on that side rail and check these horses and then easily get this back up just like that. These windows do pop into place, so they're not going to be sitting there slapping against the trailer while you're going down the road. And then you also have this bus window in here. So the bus window gets opened up when it's not frozen shut. Um, it gets opened up and that way you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want for those horses especially if it's a colder day like today, you can just get that opened up, get a little bit of airflow, but not a whole lot. We have another light up above. So if you're attacking from either side of the trailer, you are able to see in the dark. And then here's that smaller, smaller drop down, but it's still drop down on here. So this trailer, we are gonna be sitting at 610 wide, sitting at 7-1 tall, and we have an on the floor length of 18 feet, nine inches. So you're still able to, you know, whip in and out of gas stations pretty easily, get around pretty easy with this trailer being this small. And then, like I said earlier, it's only 3,330 pounds empty. So always double check your tow rating, make sure you can tow something like this before you go ahead and hook up to it. But stock number we've got on this one is gonna be 5N221790. And that's 5N221. 790. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. The Cimarron trailers, they come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper as well. So nice warranties on these trailers. If you want to give me a call, you can reach me at the phone number below. That's 303-684-3451. Shoot me a text or give me a call at my cell phone. That's 970-218-5996 or you can shoot me an email at morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. If you click the link below, it'll take you to our webpage so you can view this inventory item, and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.